Holy shit. Man, did this game fall flat on its ass. This game is absolutely not scary. I didn't twitch a single time during the run that I had, and uh, I didn't really feel creeped out at any point in the game. So if it was supposed to be scary and a terrifying experience, it completely missed it. I'm Donnie Danko, and this is my subjective opinion on Resident Evil 7, or uh, Biohazard 7, whatever they decided to call it in the end. Just to put this out before I even like start speaking about this game, I did play the older Resident Evil games, even the older ones, sure I was a little bit younger at the time and might have not, you know, taken the experience in the same manner as right now, but I did play Resident Evil 1, 2, 3 and so on, except for 6, I didn't play 6. And um, I know the Resident Evil universe, and I, I know what it's kind of about, I know the viruses and the Umbrella Corporation and so on, I, I'm aware of all of that, so it's not that I'm just going in blind first time Resident Evil through this. However, I'm still not an idiot, so I realize that this game is a game on its own, so I won't have prejudice or rate this game based upon its earlier parts. To clarify, this is Resident Evil 7. And I will talk about this game on its own. I know it's really hard for people today to not mention how great the first few were, and how 5 was shit, and how 6 was even worse, etc. But I decided to look at this game as a single release. And that's how I'll review it. Booyah! Let's get to it then. Starting off, mechanical aspects of the game. You're gonna love this. As for the graphics, they're really nice looking, well optimized, my GPU didn't have any trouble with running it in a solid 60fps, on the highest settings mind you, uh, mine is the shadow quality, cause fuck shadow quality. The sounds were pretty nice too, the ambient and echoes were great, by that of course I mean footsteps and small sounds of leaves rummaging in the dark and raindrops with occasional thunder and whatnot. In my opinion, the brightness of the game was kinda higher than what I expected, but whatever, it works. Now for the gameplay mechanics part, the walking is horrible. I feel like I have a massive disability or a broken leg when walking normally. The sprinting is basically jogging and don't even get me started on the strafing or trying to walk backwards. It feels like I'm moving while under a 300 kilogram pressure. Fuck turning that into pounds, I don't care. The gunplay is absolutely maddening, I didn't know 9mm rounds were basically plastic pellets that barely do damage and as for the accuracy of aiming, I'm pretty disappointed. I do understand that the dude I'm playing is no special ops or even a police officer, but this is legit a guy who can't fire a Glock 17 with normal stability. As for the melee aspect of combat, it's quite pointless since I can't normally sidestep enemy attacks. Also the block mechanic is insane, I blocked razor sharp claws from a 2 meter tall monster that totally looks like the acid spitter from Dead Space 3, not judging, with my bare hands. Also, the doors are sometimes kinda buggy, where they require more time to open when trying to move through. Go figure. As for the inventory system, I would say that it's horribly, horribly annoying. And the reason being is, I need to manually click on the items to apply them to certain areas that they're supposed to be applied at. Like, take for instance, a key. A crow key for a crow door. Um, why couldn't the game just do it automatically? Why do I have to go through the entire fucking inventory and waste time to like click on the exact key, by the way icons being as small as fuck and I need to like read the name of the key, they couldn't just made it simple. The inventory is kind of small to be honest, but then again what am I expecting, you're not really carrying a fucking hiking bag, though you do find like backpacks during the route that you take in the game, but it's like, it's still a question of if you can find a backpack why can't you really just you know put stuff in there like fill it up to the brim it's not gonna break like it seems like you're just kind of wasting space with that kind of not realistic in my opinion if they really wanted to make like a realistic um size of things you can carry and i'm, I'm like fine with it whatever but it's just one of those small things that are kind of annoying that's about it for the mechanics part let's move on to the story I do understand that this is supposedly a standalone, not connected to the past parts and that it's in the same universe. However, the story is the reason I even played through it in the first place. I personally think the story was great, it had a lot of mystery behind it, the pace was genuinely good and the storytelling was well done. 
some scenes really didn't make too much logical sense, as in different choices that could have been made in these pre-made cutscenes could have made the game seem more plausible and give it a better feel to the characters you play, making them seem more like real people, contrary to puppets for the purpose of preceding the story. I have a massive dislike for the four supposedly gross things they added, like cockroaches and worms and unidentified masses of what I imagine is rotten food and whatnot. I'm not grossed out by any of those, and uh, to me, it seems like a very try-hard attempt at grossing players out. Very similar to a kid in elementary school chewing up food and then showing his other like classmates or friends and they would like get grossed out by that, something on that level, and it's kind of stupid because, well, we're not five anymore, are we? Now, I do understand that I may not be the best measure for gross things, and uh, scary things too, seeing how I'm not easily scared or grossed out, but I would recommend taking a more subtle approach at doing these things in the future, Capcom. And finally, I'd like to talk about the price for this game. $60 is not a fair price for a game of this length and this genre. I'll compare this to Outlast, which had a $20 tag on it because it was being developed by an indie studio, and Amnesia that is currently $20 as well. Both of those games were far better in my opinion. Not to say I wouldn't buy this game for like 15 bucks when it comes down to it, but in all honesty, there are better games out there. I do understand that a lot of people will say things like, Resident Evil 7 is going to back to the roots, like the old ones, and it got amazing reviews, so you're just salty and whatnot. No, I'm, I'm not salty. I'm just telling it how I see it. And what I'm seeing is a failed attempt at making the old Resident Evil come back. Making it first person will only make it easy to compare to other first person horror games. And in my opinion, any single horror that hands you a weapon to use against whatever is chasing you loses a massive amount of fear factors. It starts being more of an FPS or combat game than a real helpless situation horror setup. I make this call towards the entire gaming industry. Stop making continuations of games that already have like five parts before them. A whole gaming series. Stop making continuations and start making original titles. Original titles are what most of us want to play now. Original game concepts and new fun mechanics. You can even use older mechanics, but make them seem fresh. And also... Stop pricing games at 60 bucks. I swear, like, I'm saying this because I live in Serbia, which is a fucked country in terms of finance and economy, but 60 bucks for a single game is stupid. Price it at 30, at 40. Like, actual studios, indie studios that uh, did this had a massive profit in terms of this, because people would rather buy that with an original title and a fun gameplay concept. I mean, just look at Witcher. It started from nothing, and look what it is now. A triple A fucking title. That's what I'm talking about. Stop pricing games at a high price for no reason, and put down the price a little bit, start putting out original ideas, stop refurbishing old concepts. Thank you. Also, fuck anyone who thinks that paid game review sites justify your opinion on the game. Play it yourself and then tell us what you really think. And don't play it and then tell us what you think because you wasted 60 bucks on a game. Play it and give it an honest fucking thought. Don't take into account older parts. Don't take into account anything outside the current game that you're playing. And give us your honest opinions on the game. Because that's the only way you can be honest towards yourself and everyone who is listening to you. Okay, that'd be all on this topic. I didn't really want to spoil too much of the story, so I kept that as general as possible. No details and such. Hope you enjoyed the video and share your thoughts down in the comment section below. Drop a like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, and subscribe for more content. Check out the other vids if you see anything that you're interested in. Thanks for watching and until next time.